So we have a number of different minerals. We have our sodium chloride. Uh, this contains sodium and chlorine ions. So we have sodium ions. These, remember, sodium wants to give up its electron, its outermost electron, to form Na+. These are the Na+, ions. And in the sodium chloride structure, every alternate atom here is a chloride ion. This chlorine has grabbed the electron. So we have Na+, Cl-, Na+, Cl-. Well, unfortunately, I couldn't show you uh, the, uh, the process where C, um, sodium and chlorine combine because the chlorine is so poisonous. We did a quick video. Maybe we can show you this. Here's the chlorine cylinder. So we're about to pass the chlorine. This is a green gas over some sodium. Here's the sodium here. We recorded this the other day in the fume cupboard. Going to heat this up. So here we are heating it up now with a Bunsen flame. And the chlorine gas is just about to come over. You can see the yellowy color there, going, the gas going over the sodium. And after a while, the sodium uh, will uh, catch fire. So you should see the brilliant yellow color that we get. So any second, we should see the brilliant yellow color. There we are. This is the light coming out as the uh, sodium and the chlorine react. It's a very, gives out a lot of energy, heat energy, light energy. The yellow color is, of course, the yellow of sodium. And what are we getting at the end of the day? We are forming sodium chloride. You shall see in a moment when we see the tube, there's actually a lot of black around the tube. And this is where some of the sodium has actually reacted with the glass. Remember, these metals are so reactive, they react with the glass. But also, we see the white color here. That is sodium chloride. And we can see this in this last shot here, the sodium chloride. This is just our normal salt that we would have on our chips. Here we are, crystals of salt formed from the reaction between sodium and chlorine.